Hey guys, it's Casey and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a makeup video and I'm really excited because I haven't done a makeup video in so long. As you guys can see it from the title of this video and my appearance right now, we are going to be trying a foundation and that foundation is going to be the Juvia's Place Foundation. So I know I seem really late to the party, right? But Juvia's Place actually reached out to me, I think in April to, you know, try the foundation and review it and everything, but they had some type of stock or shipping issues i'm not too sure so they actually weren't able to send it to me until right now so it's been it's been quite a while since i've been waiting on this foundation so i actually considered not reviewing it at all because i thought maybe you guys wouldn't want to see it but on instagram and facebook you guys told me like girl yeah there's tons of reviews but we want to know how do you feel about it so we are leaving all of the drama out of this video this has nothing to do with the drama with the ceo and jackie iron and Alyssa ashley and jeffree star and all that other nonsense we're not talking about that we're strictly just going to be talking about the foundation the powder and the concealer and how I feel about it before we begin do not forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn on the notification bell so you are notified every single time I upload a new video and let's go ahead and get started just to let you guys know on my eyes I do have the palette that came out with the foundations this is the Nubian 3 coral palette I think it's really pretty it's a really cool tone kind of palette really nice shades if you guys want to see like a tutorial or IG video or whatever using this palette please let me know in the comments and I will be sure to do that but I wanted to leave this video strictly for complexion as you guys can see my skin is not doing as best as it could be I have like this mean pimple right here and then I don't know what happened here and it's just it's just not as great as it could be but you know what it's okay we're gonna be rolling with the punches so here is all the products that Juvia's Place sent me I have some powder some concealer as well as the foundation I have five shades of the foundation we are going to be swatching all five to see which shade would be best for me let's go ahead and just get right into this so this is what the packaging looks like for the foundation it is 1.0 fluid ounces which is pretty standard for foundation but what I like about it is that it's not this crazy glass packaging this is the amount that you're getting you guys know there's some foundation bottles that seem huge but they're really just 1.0 fluid ounces so it's really just like this whole fancy glass packaging that makes it look like you're getting more foundation than what you're really getting it's in a plastic squeezy type 2 bottle so if you absolutely love this foundation this might be something great for your kit if you are a freelance makeup artist because you can literally throw this around in your suitcase and you don't have to worry about any glass breaking so I really appreciate that the price of this foundation goes for $20 which is a really good price you guys know Juvia's Place is an affordable makeup brand there is about 42 shades in the foundation which is a really really good shade range I love the fact that the shade range is pretty even as well so there's not like 30 fair shades and only five medium shades or things like that there's like an even amount of light medium dark and deep dark shades so I really do appreciate how they broke that down so I want to go ahead and start swatching to see what color is going to be best for me I'm really excited starting with the shade Ethiopia also known as shade 400 we're going to see what this looks like on me wow so this foundation is really thick She's thick, honey. Oh my gosh, I already know this is going to be full coverage. So this is the shade Ethiopia right here. This shade is definitely not going to work for me. This reminds me of kind of like a MAC NC45. Damn, y'all, this is a full coverage foundation, okay? Like, whoo, I'm shook. Moving on to the shade Punta Cana. This is shade 435. Okay. This one looks like the shade that might work the best for me. This is a nice golden -y undertone. We're going to put this to the side because this might be the one for me. The next shade we are going to try is 430. This is the shade Rio. Ooh, okay. Rio is really yellow, which is great which is great because it's so hard to find foundations for women of color that is as golden as Rio is because a lot of them are just too orangey. Now that Punta Cana is starting to oxidize, I don't think it's gonna work for me anymore. My complexion is so tricky, guys. It is so tricky to get a good match because this looks so much darker than what this is, but it's the same, it's the same shade. Rio might be the best one. Now I'm gonna check shade 420, which is Havana. Havana, oh no, no. Havana is definitely not going to work for me. Havana is way too light. Havana looks like it's probably a NC42 maybe. 
So if you're an MC42, maybe you might like Havana. They definitely oxidize. You guys, I don't know if you can see, so the center is still wet, but where it's starting to dry, it is definitely getting darker. So keep that in mind when buying this foundation, it does oxidize for sure. For the last one we're gonna try, it's shade Aruba, which is shade 510. All right, so Aruba is definitely not my shade at all. <laughs> I tried it with Aruba, where I thought I was going, but Aruba is yellow. Wow, that's a really yellow foundation. Girl, if you're like high yellow, this will work for you. But can we just talk about the coverage? Look at this. Look how freaking full coverage this foundation is. It's crazy. The higher the number is, the lighter it gets. So I am definitely not either one of these. So I think we might all agree that the best one is going to be Rio, which is this shade right here. That's probably going to be the best match for me. Okay, so I want this review to be as true as possible, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the primer that I always use, which is the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer Base. And I really like this primer because it just blurs everything to perfection. To apply this foundation, I'm going to use a Morphe blending sponge because that's how I like to apply my foundations. And I am going to just put some of this foundation on the back of my hand. Like I said, this foundation is super full coverage, so I don't think you need a lot. I think it's gonna just cover just everything like to perfection. Yeah guys, I think Rio is going to be the best shade for me. It's nice and yellow and I love me a good yellow foundation because I can never find them. I'm always looking orange. It is just slightly darker than my complexion, but I feel like once we apply the concealer and the powder, we can brighten that up with no problem. The foundation does have a paint-like scent. It's not super strong. Like you literally got to take a big whiff of it to smell it. So it's not overbearing. So if you're sensitive to smells, I don't think it'll bother you. Oh my gosh, if you like a natural beat, you wanna see your skin through it, you might got freckles, you wanna show those freckles, this ain't for you. This is not for you. I like it. Wow, this is super full coverage. This is good. This is some good coverage. Okay, so the finish of this foundation is definitely a matte finish. It's not much uh, dew or glow in this foundation at all. So you might absolutely love it if you have oily skin. Okay guys, so I have the foundation on. First impressions is that I am loving the coverage of it. It's super amazing. The finish is pretty good too. You guys know I kind of prefer dewier finishes, but it's okay to have a matte in your collection, you know what I'm saying, to switch things up. So the shade that I have is a little too dark for like the rest of my body, but it was the best one that I had. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna work with it. And like I said, I think once I highlight and everything, it'll balance it out. So now let's jump into the concealer. So I have three concealer shades here. I have it in shade 18. I love the packaging, it's so big. I have shade seven. I guess that's for me to contour with. I have shade 15. I'm not really feeling like there's a shade for me. I'm gonna go ahead and use shade 15. We gonna try, we gonna see what it's gonna look like. So to give you guys just some tea about the concealer, the concealer is 0.3 fluid ounces, it is $14 and it is in 24 shades. I think it has a great shade range. It goes super dark, like super, super dark. So we love that, we stand that. I just don't have a good shade for me right here. I need something a little bit more golden than what I have, but we're gonna make this work. The applicator is very similar to Tarte Shape Tape or the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. Ooh, this is, Jesus, look at the coverage, guys. Like, you could cover up all your sins, everything. Wow. Kinda similar smell to the foundation. It's not overbearing, like I said. I would definitely go to Ulta. If I like this concealer, I'm definitely gonna go to Ulta and find a better shade for me. I think we could work with this. I definitely think we can work with this. So far, I'm really liking the concealer. It doesn't dry super fast, which I like, because that's my only issue with like Tarte Shape Tape is that it dries way too fast when I'm trying to blend it out. I have to like apply it in sections, and I don't like that because then it just looks, it looks crazy if I don't move fast enough. I'm liking the fact that this is giving me 
you know, a little bit of time to work with it. The only thing with the concealer this thick is that it will definitely crease on you if you don't set it fast enough. Okay, I don't know if I love the concealer as much as I love the foundation, and I'm not too sure if that just has something to do with the shade match. Um, let's just go ahead and jump into these powders so we can set this. So I have five powder shades here. And I'm excited about the powder. So the powders are in the same exact packaging as the highlighters, if you guys have the loose highlighters. This one here is Nami B, I believe is how you pronounce it, which is going to be too dark for me. But if you are like an NC50, that might be your version of a banana powder. That might be good for you. We have White Sands, which looks like a... Like a a cream like kind of translucent but not necessarily white kind of powder so that's nice to have then we have sahara sahara looks like a lighter kind of banana powder like if translucent and banana had a baby that would be sahara so that's what this one right here looks like so that so far that might be the best bet for me right now then we have gobi gobi is like a nice tan color this might be great if I don't want to brighten if I kind of want something more natural in a sense I don't really want to go in with a banana powder this might be really nice oh and then we have like a real banana yellow shade this one is called Kalahari I don't know if I pronounced that right y'all y'all know Juvia's Place got be having these Nigerian names and I'm all for it but I don't be knowing how to pronounce it I Honestly, I feel like I can use almost every single one of these powders except for Nambi, Nambi, Nam. I don't even, I don't know what that say. Except for that one, but the rest I can definitely utilize. So I'm excited. They definitely came out with a, a great shade range for the powder. Let me see if there's any other ones because we definitely going to need some darker ones if they have. Let's see. So that's actually all five shades of the I Am Magic setting powder. Surprised they didn't come out with something a little bit deeper. The powder is $12. So I'm going to tap this powder into the cap. All right, before you set, you want to make sure that you have no creases because if you set while you're creased, you're going to stay creased, girl. We're not, we not here for that. We don't need those kind of problems. This is a really, like, yellow powder. Look, it's yellow, honey. But I like that. So we got our powder applied. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is finish off my skin using all Juvia's Place products. I'm not going to be cream contouring even though I definitely could now that I have that darker concealer. You guys know it's, that's just, I do it once in the blue but Sis ain't got time for that. All right, guys, to finish off this look, I'm going to take the Saharan Blush Volume 2 palette, and I'm going to take the shade Yara right here, and I'm going to use that to contour. For my blush, I'm going to take this same palette, and I'm going to take this shade. I'm not even going to try to pronounce anymore. I'm just done trying to pronounce. And I'm going to apply this to the apples of my cheek and bring it back, because you guys know that's how I like my blush. I like it to be like... A more sculpted look I'm gonna go ahead and start dusting away this bake so I can let you guys know how I feel about it so far okay so how I feel right now my under eye area looks really flawless and I'm here for it my nose is a little patchy but we already know why my nose likes to sweat it's just its thing that's what it likes to do so I don't ever just I can't judge makeup off my nose I just can't do it because it's not fair but yeah so far I think the powder looks really nice I don't like the concealer I don't think okay guys so I think I like the powder my under eye area doesn't look super dry but I don't think I like the concealer I think the concealer is probably my least favorite product in the whole collection and it could be because the color just wasn't my color but for some reason I don't know, so the concealer just is not doing it for me right now. I'm not sure what it is. I can't put my finger on it, but it's not doing it for me. The foundation, I love. The foundation looks really, really good. It's matte, but it's okay, because I think with a little bit of Fix Plus and some highlighter, I can get my skin to look a little bit more dewy. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off my eyes, put some highlighter on, put some lips on, and I will be right back. All right, guys, and I am back. The makeup is complete. So I just want to jump on here and just give you guys some of my final thoughts on the Juvia's Place complexion products. So we are going to rate these products a one to 
five. I will definitely give this foundation about a four. I love the packaging of it. I think it's a smart packaging. Besides just from a consumer standpoint, as a makeup artist standpoint, I think the packaging is genius. It's plastic, it's easy to travel with, it's nice, small, and compact, but you're still getting a full-size foundation, if you will. Easy to just kind of squeeze out all the remaining products. So I think the packaging is bomb. We love the price point, sis. $20 is a great price for a foundation, so I'm here for the price point. I absolutely love the coverage. I absolutely love the coverage. It is super duper full coverage. I think the coverage is phenomenal. I think they definitely did well with the shade range. We have some warm undertones. We had some cool undertones. We had some, some neutral. We had some olive, and I really do appreciate that. Um, 42 shades is a great shade range as long as everything is equal and I definitely feel like they did a great job with having fair shades as well as really deep shades. Now the reason why I give this a 4 instead of a 5 is just the fact that it is super matte. You guys know I like to be dewy, I like to be luminous. I feel a little too matte right now. I feel a little too matte, but that's okay. There's other ways to kind of get around it. You can always drop an oil in your foundation. You can do a liquid highlighter. There's other ways to make your skin look dewy. So, I mean, I can I can deal with the madness because I know how to manipulate it, but I would prefer something a little bit more, maybe a natural matte finish or like a satiny finish. This is just straight up matte, honey. Like this is matte, matte, matte. So I do recommend the foundation. I think the foundation is great. So from a one to five, I give these powders maybe a 3.5. Yeah, I'm gonna say a 3.5. I don't really care for the packaging as much, but then again, I can't think of a loose powder where I absolutely love the packaging. I don't know, I just feel like this is going to be extremely messy. I kind of already spilled some of the powder on me, but I think they did a great job with the shade range. I just wish they'd maybe add a sixth shade that was like a deeper shade because I find the darkest shade might still be too light for somebody who's their deepest shade of foundation, you know what I mean? So I think they could extend their powder shades just a little bit. Four out of the five powders can can work for me. I kind of have a powder for any occasion, whether I'm doing something really natural, I want to be super beat, I need to brighten and bring some more gold into my skin or whatever, or I just need something like my actual complexion color. I think they did a great job for me personally, but obviously you guys are all not my complexion, so I'm trying to think as from a like a broader perspective, you know what I mean? Not just for me. So like I said, I think they could do a little bit better with the shade range of the powders. The price point is great. We love the price point. I think my under eye area looks okay, but honestly, I'm not obsessed with my under eye area because I think that's the concealer, which we'll get to that in a minute. But yeah, the powders the powders are not bad. I would definitely continue to use these powders, and I'm gonna try to um, combine them with concealers that I already love to see if I love the powder even more. But I think they did a pretty good job with the powder. I'm gonna give it like a 3.5 or four. As far as the concealer goes, I'm gonna give this about a three. Love the packaging. The colors that I have just don't work for me, and I think that is my biggest issue. Number 15, I can use it, but it wouldn't be my ideal shade if I was in the store purchasing the concealer. So I think I'm definitely going to get another one myself, like go into Ulta and find one myself, because I just don't think 15 worked that well for me. It's just a little too light, and I just need something just a little darker. Just a, 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 Un poquito, just a little bit. I don't know, when I blend the concealer out, I don't feel like it, it looked as smooth as I would like it to. I'm not too sure if that just has something to do with this fact that my skin is acting crazy or what, but it just didn't look as flawless as I would like it to, but I'm gonna keep playing with it. I'm not gonna completely rule it out, but it is not my favorite concealer on the market. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm really I'm really rocking with the Born This Way. The price point of this is cute though, so if you wanted to get like a highlight shade, a conceal shade, and a contour shade, you can definitely do that, because the price point is great, and I think they did a good job with the shade range as well. So yeah guys, this is going to conclude my very late Ajuvia's Place foundation complexion review, if you will. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, I'll put them down below in the comment section. Let me know, have you guys tried this foundation? If not, are you planning on trying it? What's the tea? Because I know everybody has a, <laughs> a pretty big opinion on Juvia's Place right now. So just let me know. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys are subscribed and I will see you in the next one. Bye.